wait, 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 wait. Listen, man, y'all doing too much, too much on YouTube when it comes to this murder mook and rock. I seen the live with Surf and Hitman in the background. Surf was talking to Mook with Rex in the background. He was telling Mook that <clears throat> while you up there doing all this, whatever, whatever, saying your angles and this, Rock gonna be up there smoking your dumb ass with whatever so on. So it was like, come on, okay. If you if you believe that, right? Then I seen Vada. Shout out Vada Fly. You know what I mean? Nobody's fly. Shout out Vodafly, who who reiterated this on his channel. <clears throat> and said, yeah, yeah, Mook. Yeah, nobody might not want to do it so while Rock is... Let, let me tell y'all something, right? And I don't know who's going to win this. What I can tell you for sure is I can't remember. I can't remember the last time Tay Rock went against someone who was very great at what they did and won. I can't remember the last time Tay Rock went against a top tier who was very great at what they did and won. Let alone someone that's not a puncher. He lost against Nitty, who was a puncher. Let's put that to the side. People that's not punchers, right? Mook not a puncher. He can punch. He's not a puncher. He's an angler and a schemer, right? Rock went against what? Paste? He didn't win that. It's, listen, I'm not the call. I'm not calling debatables a win. Even if you can debate it, it's not a win. He didn't win that. I'm going off what was said. Rock gonna smoke Mook if he does what he does. By smoking somebody, you assume that person is winning. You can't. You can't say, "Oh man, he smoked somebody," and then turn around and say, "Ah, it was a debatable." Did he smoke him? Or it was a debatable. I'm, 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 I look at you smoking somebody as you dusted them motherfuckers. You whooped they ass. You clearly won, right? They said Rock is going to smoke Mook. Not a debatable. Rock went against Pat. He didn't smoke Pat. Only I don't even think he beat Pat. He went against Goods. He didn't beat Goods. He went against Daylight. He didn't beat Daylight. You know what I mean? You keep naming them. Someone who's very great at what they do, that's not a puncher, because Mook is not a puncher, Rock doesn't beat them. And it's not on Rock. It's hard to judge a battle when people have separate styles that's very good at what they do in those separate styles. Normally, most people would call that, hey, man, it's, it's, I can't call it, man, 2 1 either way is debatable. This just end up being what it is without you even thinking about it. Thinking about it. If you got two people on 10 in two different styles, they let they both on level 10 all three rounds. You can most likely most people without thinking about it is going to say, man, round one and two or round two and three or almost all the rounds are debatable because I love what this person was doing and I love what that person was doing. So you can argue, hey, man, if you like the gun bars, then he won. If you like the scheming and the angling, then he won. And this is how we get way too many two ones. I understand it. Other people need to understand it, right? I'm going to throw this out there. Rum Nitty is like a level 10 puncher who recently went against Reed, who's probably only a level 7 angler. I really don't know an angle like that, but in that last battle, there was some angles. He was talking about how what he did in the past that made him a legend, what he did for battle rap and these new niggas, so and so. He did that. That was an angle. I'm not saying he, he angled the whole battle. That was like half a round and he did so and so from a, the other two rounds. That's neither here nor there. I'm just saying. A level 10 puncher versus like 11 7 angler. Most people have that battle as debatable. Think about it. A level 10 puncher versus a like 11 7, level 7 angler. Was a debatable. So think about this. Because other styles. Whether it's like good swag style. Whether it's pat comedy slash bar style. Or if it's. A, a, a very heavy real. Street talk style. It can negate your punch style. Think about this. It can negate your punches. You can, you can be on 10 all three rounds. But if I'm on. 
angles, if I'm on schemes, if I'm on what I'm on all, all three rounds too, that make your punches not seem seem so heavy. Look at past staying goods. They can shake your punches off to make them look like they really were nothing after the fact. Not saying that they not, but when you thought, I mean, I was on all tens. I know I smoked that nigga. When people hear they shit, they be like, nah, it, it, it was debatable. You thought you was on 10, and you was. But it's like Mayweather. Like, Lincoln, you, you hit hard. You hit hard as a motherfucker. The problem is your punches ain't landing. Your punches ain't landing. I see them. I hear them. I'm not, I'm not taking nothing away from them, and there's nothing wrong with punching. It's just normally you need to intertwine something else. Because if that's all you do is punch and you go against somebody who's very, very good at what they do, they can shake those punches off. Not all of them, but they can shake a lot of those punches off. Right? So that Rum Nitty level 10 puncher went, went up against Reed Dollars, 11, like a level 7 angler. And it was a debatable. Now, that's that's... That adds value to what I'm about to say, right? That's relative to what I'm about to say because it's another angler and a puncher. This time, instead of a level 10 puncher and a seven angler, you got Rock, who's probably a level eight, maybe nine puncher. He's not up there with Nitty. So he's like a level eight or level nine puncher, right? Going up against a level 10 angler. A 10 puncher just had a debatable with a seven angler. Now you got a level eight or nine puncher going against a level 10 angler. And y'all up here saying that the puncher is going to smoke the angler? Come on, man. Like, y'all just y'all just freely saying that. That's my problem. Everybody got their opinion. Again, I'm not on Mook's side. I'm just saying, say some shit that makes sense. Y'all just call a puncher and an angler debatable. Y'all just called it a debatable. And we know that we know their types. Rum Nitty's a level 10. Just had a debatable with somebody who's probably not a 10 in any category. No knock to read dollars. He probably like an 8 across the board. Or, you know what I mean? Like, there's more stats. Right? Rum Nitty is a level 10 puncher. But maybe he's only a level 7 schemer. He's only a level, you know what I mean? Like, <coughs> 6 real talk, like drug talk type of, you know what I mean? Like, his, uh, there's other stats there. But we talking about their biggest their biggest stat. Like people saying Rock is gonna smoke Mook if Mook come in on his quote unquote angle and scheme bar shit. Like what? What are you talking about? Y'all said internet along with, with Surf, and this is why y'all need to put money. Surf said he bet ten thousand. He got ten thousand on Rock. So I need to be calling that bet. He got 10,000 on Rock to beat, to beat Mook. Not debatable. Not debatable. If those are the eyes that your boy have to beat Mook, I'll take that. I'll take that. Because it's easily going to, at the very least, be a debatable. If you think Mook finna come into play after he's, sit out, he's been sitting out this while, this long, then had the bridge thing fall through, and then he got whatever he knows behind the scenes that involves rocking the whole cave gang shit. Rock and, and how he treated or how, or how Alf was treated and how Briss was treated. Huh? Not to mention the whole tranny shit that go. And you think he about to get up there and play? Because that's the only way that you that, that you can have Rock smoke and Mook is if you think Mook about to get up there and play and then just bring whatever the fuck he got like nigga i'm right all this shit the day before because if you think he's really going to be prepared and come up there and get smoked by rock then you must be smoking rock man i'm out of here man fuck that